Merry Christmas, everybody, especially if you are a Cleveland Indians fan. Why would it be a Merry Christmas for Cleveland? I mean, they did lose the World Series, but they just won a massive deal scoring Edwin Encarnacion, which now means one of the two major sluggers, that being Jose Bautista, who I have a jersey up on my wall right there, and is still in Toronto. We'll get to him later. But Edwin, sweepstakes are over. Cleveland won, fair and square. I'm upset, not gonna lie to you, because they signed him for three years at $60 million. That's an even total of $20 million a year. And what really upsets me is that Edwin, at the whole start of this thing, turned down four years for $80 million, which means that would just be like a whole other year on the contract, a one-year $20 million contract extension for Cleveland if he did sign with the Blue Jays. Now, I mean, we still have Jose, and I said we're going to get back to Jose. We're getting to him right now. He said if he gets signed for more than the $17 million that they offered him, he would stay in Toronto for one year. For $18 million. It's still less than Edwin's making. It's only one year. But we'd still we'd still have him, so uh Mark Shapiro, get get out your checkbook because <laughs> and write down Jose and just leave the uh leave that money slot empty so they can just fill it out because we we kinda need him here still. But what does it mean now with Edwin gone? Well, they still had Ken they have Kendris Morales now, the Blue Jays, so that is now a good hitter for the Blue Jays to replace Edwin. But we would have had even more um, had he signed with the Blue Jays for this eighty million four year thing. So, what do I think of the free agency deal? I think it's business. I'm not peachy about it, but it is Christmas, so I should try to stay happy and somehow remain calm. But let's just go over there for a quick second, okay? Just let me go over there. So, if you would look at this. Let's just take a look. We got Brett Laurie, Jose Reyes, Jose about Jose Reyes, Jose Bautista, Dickey, and Edwin. Dickey and Edwin are gone. La Laurie, wait. Brett Laurie and Jose Reyes are gone. I said his name right. Jose Bautista is the only one left here. So that means that this could either be very vintage or outdated. And you know what? I am really hoping. Oh, Sorry. I'm really hoping that at least that Jose will still stay relevant on that big picture. Um, I mean, I'm going to try a new angle for these off-season videos right here. I usually film my JFAs over there. And, yeah, I'm going to try a new angle for the off-season videos. But, on a happier note... It is Christmas, which means <clears throat> that, um, I have a few things, a few things here, which means that the World Juniors are in two days, Canada, Russia, um, taking off the Christmas hat, it's itchy, um, World Juniors are there, almost, which means tonight there's the Sports in the Year in Review, which I look forward to every year, especially because my Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup, I'm not going to get into that, um, also, it is almost New Year's, which means it's almost January, which, which means it is almost time to decide if the NHL will be going to the Olympics. Fingers crossed. Everything is hopeful. I'm really hoping that they will send the NHLers um, to South Korea for the Olympics. If they don't, I mean... There's, there's NHL still. There's still hockey in that time. But Canada prop might not win. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap it up now. 
I'm gonna do this big year in review special that I've already talked about a few times now. It's where I talk about the Blue Jays, the anything, whatever, what happened in 2016 that was good, that was bad, well, that was collar pulling. And yeah, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. I hope that um, you have a great Christmas. Celebrate New Year safely. I will see you in the World Juniors CFAs where we do another version of Canada Fan Analysis.